Tags in Microsoft Azure are a powerful yet simple tool that help you organize and manage your cloud resources. Whether you are working in a small startup or a large enterprise, understanding how to use tags can greatly improve your cloud governance, cost management, and operational efficiency. Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhur and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will go over what a tag is in Azure and how to add, modify and delete tags using the Azure portal. A tag is a name value pair that you can apply to Azure resources, resource groups and subscriptions. These tags create search and filter capabilities that support resource governance, cost tracking and operations. Tags allow you to organize resources logically regardless of where they reside in your Azure hierarchy. A second example. You can assign a tag with the name environment and the value production to indicate a production environment. Alternatively, if you want to tag a resource from the sales department, you can use the tag name department and the tag value cells. You can also apply multiple tags to a single resource and the same tag across multiple resources. Keep in mind, tags cannot be applied to management group. Now the question is, why we use tags? We can use Azure tag for cost management. Using tag, we can track billing by department, project or environment. Tag can be helpful for resource organization. We can use tag to group resources logically across different subscriptions and regions. We can use tags as triggers or conditions in automation scripts and policies. Using tag, we can identify resources that don't meet tagging standards using Azure policy. You can add tags in multiple ways using the Azure portal, Azure CLI or Azure PowerShell. However, in this video, we will use only the Azure portal to tag a resource. Under Azure services, click on resource group. In this example, we will add a tag to our resource group named YTRG01. Click on YT-RG01 resource group. To view the tags for a resource or a resource group, look for existing tags in the overview. If you didn't previously apply tags, the list is empty. To add a tag, Click on Add Tags. This will take you to the Tags section. Click on the Tags option. Now, add your desired tags for this resource group. For example, if your organization runs applications in multiple environments such as development, testing and production, you can categorize your resources by tagging them with the tag name Environment. Then assign the tag values, development, testing, or production to the resources as required. Continue adding tags as needed. Now let's add another tag with the name department to specify which team owns the resource. In our case, the tag name is department and the tag value is test team. When done, click on apply to save the changes. The tag is created and is ready for use. Go to overview tab. The tags are now displayed in the overview section. Note that tags do not inherit by default. Remember, tagging a resource group or subscription will not automatically propagate these tags to individual resources or billing reports. To ensure inheritance, apply tags directly to the respective resources or use an Azure policy to automate this process. To edit or delete an existing tag, Click on Add it. Tag names are case insensitive for operations. However, the tag values are case sensitive. Each tag name must be unique per resource. You cannot use the same tag name multiple times on the same resource. Already we have used department tag for this resource group. Let's see, can we use the department tag one more time? Let's select department from the list and it will give us the warning that it is invalid tag name. The tag name department is already used. Tag names are case insensitive. To delete a tag, select the trash icon. The steps will be same for existing tag as well. To delete an existing configured tag, 
select the trash icon. Then select apply to save the changes. The tag was deleted successfully. Let's wait for a few seconds. The tag was deleted successfully. On overview tab, we now don't see department tag configured for this resource group. To view all resources with a specific tag in the Azure portal, search for tags in the search bar. Click on tags. From the list of available tags, select the one you want to view. In our example, at the moment, we have only one tag which is environment. Click on it. Azure will display all resources associated with that tag. In this example, we have only configured environment tag for our resource group. And that resource group is listed here. That's all for this video on how to use tags in Microsoft Azure. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.